the splintered chair not found on OnlyFans. <laughs> Hello, you're listening to Splintered FM, broadcasting exclusively on Longwave. I'm far too chirpy for this time of the morning, and as I see the clock is at an arbitrary point, let's move to the news. Headlines this morning, the government have announced a new initiative. Now I'll give you scant detail on this and we'll probably steal with facts, but this will do nothing except confirm your confirmation bias about politics and the media. <laughs> Celebrity news now. And to stay relevant, celebrities have done things that really are considered normal, but for some reason are considered abnormal when surrounded by the mass media appeal of people whose Instagram following is higher than their levels of common sense. We go over to our reporter now. Buy stuff! In sport now. People, mostly men, have been doing things with balls. The reason they've been doing things is for you to give your hard-earned money to betting companies to keep you in form of enslavement. <laughs> and now the weather. The climate is dying and there's nothing I can say that will convince you otherwise because despite having a degree in meteorology, I have been dressed to look like somebody from Butlins. Back to the studio. Trapnow Project Report 12, 8 January 99. Site Manager David Harwood. Confidential for the board and partner only. The team has successfully placed the item in the tunnel. An exclusion zone of 60 miles around the mine has been created and is being monitored both visually and audibly for interference. Structural stability has been confirmed and our engineers continue to reinforce the surrounding tunnels to minimize the risk of failure. Next report, seven days. Notice to all staff, there will be a fire drill at 11 a.m. This is to test the capability of the fire, and we expect all of you to suffer minimum fourth degree burns. New memo, um, Sandra, Susan, whoever, um, Please type up the Head of Communications uh, letter of acceptance and have it run over to the abode of Sean, our new inbound Head of Comms. Um, also, please order significant quantities of beef jerky delivery marked to floor five. Thank you. Notice to all staff, today's motivational conference on how to feel better in the workplace has been cancelled because you weren't worth the time. Trap now, project report uh, 13, uh, 9 January 1899, David Harwood, confidential for the partner only. Something is happening in the tunnel. I've sent three teams and I've lost contact with them all. The, the size monitors aren't detecting any movement, but our new prototype Marconi detectors are showing huge increases in the magnetism within the exclusion zone. I, I don't understand. More concerningly, similar increases are being detected at the Antipode site. I'm ordering a full evacuation and legal are on site. Next report. One day. Yes, Audrey, um, uh, please take a note. Um, uh, there, there are far too many uh, gingers walking about the office these days. Um, I thought that we've um, banned them um, after the fire of 52. Um, if, I, if I see a ginger walking around the office uh, one more time, I will be forced to get the blunderbuss out and take matters into my own hands. P.S. Can you fill the vending machine out again? Um, we are missing the tricks. Mm. 
Right, this is your office. Um, it's recently been refurbished. We got quite a lot of rather nice kit from a, a, a defunct Japanese power company, I believe it was, or something along those lines. Um, there is a thing that clicks in the corner. If the clicking gets too regular, you might want to leave for a walk. No danger, just rather irritating. In we go. Right, so uh, this is the comms department. Uh, over there you've got Jack, and here we've got Jack. Um, so what have you been up to, Jack? Uh, uh, I, I'm just tweeting things. Right. So Jack thinks he's a bird. What about you, Jack? I'm just making some posters. Very good. Um, this is yeah. Sandra, Susan, Seamus. What's your name? Jack. Um, don't go near him before lunch. He gets a bit bitey. I'll leave you there. Bye. My word, um, three Jacks all in one department, hey? <laughs> I bet that gets confusing. <laughs> not, not really. No? Never been an issue? Yeah. Right, oh, okay. Um, so, so what are you guys doing? Tweeting, tweeting, yeah, Twitter, Twitter, the new media, excellent. Tell me a little bit about that, Jack. Uh, I just got told to tweet stuff, so. Right, can I, can I just see what see what you're you're tweeting? Can I just have a little look on your phone? And it says stuff. You're tweeting stuff. Yeah, I think there's an algorithm for it, but I'm not worked it out yet. Right, okay. And Jack, what about you? What, what about what, what are you doing? This one's white, uh, and this one's um black. Okay, okay. Um, and 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 Jack, what what about you? What are, what are you doing? What are you working on, Jack? Right, okay, um, excellent, good work, guys, good hustle. Um, so, uh, right, I, I think I, as your new boss, I think I need to give a bit of a speech, a bit of a motivational speech, just introducing uh, you all to who I am and what kind of um, expectations I have of, of you guys, my team. Um, I, I believe in, in the good communication. Did, did he say his team? That's, that's not his team, is it, Jack? No, no, what, what happened to the other one? He got jacked. We, we don't work for you. <laughs> we work for the company. Yeah. We work for Jack. Right. Okay. Good, good. I, I, I think I'm just going to go to the toilet. I'll leave you guys to it. Um, tweeting, making posters. Jack. And I'll be back in there. Does anyone want a coffee? I'll bring some coffee. <laughs> Black coffee, okay. And, and what about you, Jack? What about you? Uh... Good, good, and and Jack, what about you? What would you, what would you like? Latte. Right. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll be back in I'll be back in in, in two shakes. Don't you don't need to tell me where the canteen is. I'll 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 find it. I'll find I'll find somewhere anyway. I'll be back Follow in. the posters. Right. Okay. Um. Which 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 colour posters should I be following, Jack? The the ones that say cafe. Of course, of course. Well, see you later, guys. I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> good work, good work. Toilets <sighs> on the fifth floor are out of action. Right, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you very much, Jack, Jack, and Jack. Is that IT? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've got, I've got an issue. Have you tried sending it on and off again? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah I, I've got just got an error message. What? Uh, right, okay, hang on. What department are you in? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm in the kitchen. You're in the kitchen? Yeah. You've got an error message? Yeah. Is the error message in the kitchen? Yeah. And where's the error message coming from? He says we're out of bread. Right. Which kitchen are you in? The, the red one. The red kitchen? Yeah. There isn't bread in the red kitchen. There's never red bread in the red kitchen. You need to leave immediately. But I want my toasty. You can't have a toasty in the red kitchen. There's no bread allowed in there. That's not an error message. That's a dire warning. You need to leave now. But I've got some cheese especially. Right. I'm going to spell this one out for you. 
if you don't leave right now, very bad things are going to happen. We've called security, they're on the way. You've got about three minutes before it all goes completely tattered, so you need to leave. It's free, it was on offer at Sainsbury's. Really? How much? It was £2.60 down from a fiver. Proper wheel and everything. That's pretty good. But either way, you need to leave. The Red Kitchen can't have bread in it. If, if it's telling you they're out of bread, something's gone wrong. You need to leave. Where do I get bread from? The Blue Kitchen? Or maybe Green, actually. Green's got bread. Oh, okay, you've I'll got... give that a go then. Yeah, because you've got like 30 seconds left before this all goes wrong. Go on. Go to the, blue, the Green Kitchen. I can't take my cheese in the Green Kitchen. No, you can't. That's why I said the Blue Kitchen. Okay. Right. Thanks for calling IT. Bye. Voice memo begins. Um, Sarah, if, if you could have this typed up, please. Um, intern pool running low. Stop. Must recruit further. Stop. Use new video with fancy PowerPoint. Stop. Possibly some sort of poster. Stop. If you could get that sent down to marketing as soon as possible, that would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. This is an employee announcement. The last ferry to the Rainhill facility leaves in one hour. All of those wishing to depart must be on the last shuttle for the East Dock in 15 minutes. Shona, quick memo for the uh, maintenance department. If they could please replace the batteries in the Geiger counter located at the back of the marketing office, that would be much appreciated. Also, said office's toner is running low. Please replace. Do not use stock from floor five. Thank you. Gentlemen. May I take this opportunity to welcome you to Splintered Chair Industries. This company was founded with a simple aim, and you will help us achieve it. Only by working together can we ensure the future of the company and help us grow. We are changing the world one day at a time, and have been doing so since before many of us were even born. This is the blue sky we all long to think about. Our founding partners began Splinter Chair with a simple motto, and we look to live up to that today. Every single one of you will have a role in ensuring that the legacy they wanted to create is not only achieved, but arrives safely in the home of every single creature on this planet. We are a forward-thinking and progressive company and expect you to demonstrate our values both in the office and at home. And your wives and children should also demonstrate such values both in their own lives and when attending corporate events such as the annual picnic and the family sports day. As new starters, within our mighty organization, I can appreciate some confusion and that some of you may be overwhelmed by the size and scope of what you have found here, but rest assured, we are here to help you. You have been selected because of your skills and your experience, and we expect you to put it to good use here. Our Human Resources Department have an excellent eye and it watches you everywhere you go, both here and in your home life. We are a self-help organization. So if you need help in your new job, you need look no further than the mirrors conveniently placed in the lift and on the roof. Failing that, the door to legal is always locked, but you can knock. 
Please do take caution, however. Legal are very busy and do not suffer interruption. Your manager or head of department will tell you the way. We pride ourselves here at Splintered Chair on our corporate culture. We wear our suits with pride. Ties are expected. Please review the notices next to the entrances to identify the correct knot based on your employment level. However, don't think we're stuffy and old-fashioned. We dress down on Fridays and ties can be removed after 3 p.m. The last Friday of every month is for a bit of fun. Fancy dress is compulsory. You will be sent a memo within the next month's theme 21 days in advance. Please adhere to it. Immediately following this induction session, you will be given a brief tour of the building. Please take note. Level 5 is currently out of bounds and the basement is reserved for the interns. The cafe is located on level 1, but occasionally relocates depending on the chef's mood. When you find your office, you will notice a welcome back from HR on your chair. Our little way of saying, welcome to the SC family. Now the first of the two tablets should be taken immediately, the second once you return home tonight. Also in the pack, you will find a gift card for 10% off in the cafe this week only, and instructions on how to complete your daily tasks. For those of you with a desk as well as a chair, you will find the reporting tubes in the left drawer. These must be submitted every day, no later than 6pm and no earlier than 5.55pm. Please now, go. Enjoy your first day here. Take in the sights and smells of a business working at its utmost efficiency. Do us proud. Not found on OnlyFans. <laughs>